Okay, welcome back guys. This is the boy Mr. Khan. And as I said, um, you know, it's a very emotional uh, day for me because, you know, as I told you before, I'm selling my property and um, my job is transferring me to the other side of, of Florida, which is over on the Tampa side. Right now, I'm in the um, the uh, Fort Lauderdale area. This uh, um, area is known as Plantation, and um, I'll be transferred from um, Fort Lauderdale Plantation area, which is this is Plantation, over to Tampa. So, you know, my property, I have to sell my house to transition from this side to the other side because it's um, I'm, I'm gonna I'm, I, I cannot afford to. Um, pay mortgage and also pay rent so um, this property I have to get rid of this property and you know and relocate to the other side of Florida so as I said um, I'm living on this property like for um, about six years and um, um, the time when I saw this house man I just like the community the community is very quiet it's very peaceful no noise and even before I look inside of this house, when I drove in the community, that is what captured my interest on the community. Even before I see the house, I said, listen, any house in this community, I'm going to purchase it. And when I saw the house, um, the realtor told me that, oh, Mr. Kong, I don't think you're going to like this house because it's a storybook house. It looked like a, a little storybook house. And when I, I, when I saw the house, I said, you know, man, this is the house. Because before, I look on several other properties, some big ones, medium-sized ones, you know, size like this one. But this particular property, I really um, fell in love with the community before I even, uh, um, um, you know, see the house. And then again, it was like about 15 minutes, if not less, to where I work. So that was a, a big plus for me. And that is the reason why I get this property. So I'm living here for six years. I, I purchased at um, 310 and I'm asking 590. I'm not sure I'm gonna get 590, but you know, I'm gonna give it a shot. And let's see how it works. Now, as I said again, guys, for those of you who are um, contemplating about, oh, should I buy a property? Should I rent a property or what? I'm gonna tell you guys, buying a property if you can buy buy it the reason why if you rent it you got nothing to get in return later if you purchase your property will grow um equity and later on if you want to sell you can sell and make a profit from your property take it from me guys based on my experience it's not a loss it's not a loss even though i've been paying in from for six years but at the same time i'm leaving so i will live with something in my pocket so for those of you thinking about buying a property buying a property don't hesitate just go ahead and buy a property and make sure that you keep it you know relatively um, um updated and then whenever you decided to sell you will have some equity in your property okay guys so I'll be transitioning again, as I said, on the west side, and I'll be starting a new chapter on that side. I'm not sure what it's going to like, um, be like yet. I'm feeling a little down, as I said, a little bittersweet, yes, but I'm going to make use of my time over into Tampa side. So I would like you all to like, share, subscribe, help me build this channel, guys, and you will see what Mr. Kong is doing right here in florida for those of you who um come to florida or to the united states or travel outside of jamaica to live make sure guys make sure guys do not hesitate buy into a property it doesn't matter how difficult the circumstances are buy into a property and at the end of the time that you decided to transition you will have something to sell so that is what i did and it's where it's I think it's working out for me so I'm sharing my experience with you 
And as I said before in my, um, in, in, you know, earlier on that I also have another property in Jamaica and I'm, I'm trying to put that one on the Airbnb market. So for those of you who are planning to go to Jamaica, spend some time, um, that one is on the construction. I'm trying to get it um, painted up, putting new uh, furniture inside of it. You know, a little renovation just to make sure that um, you can have a comfortable stay whenever you go to Jamaica. It's in a very, very quiet and peaceful community in St. Thomas. It's just overlooking the beach, overlooking the yellow span. You will like it, trust me, you will like it. It's a nine bedroom property um, with seven bathrooms, washing room, kitchen, dining, balcony, all kind of things. And also, you know, from there, I'll be trying to develop my portfolio i'm gonna try to grow my portfolio because i like i like um real estate um i'm not in it but i like it so uh that is um one aspect of um um, um like jobs are our industry that i can see growth in um, real estate so don't be don't be shy don't be scared don't don't think like oh, okay this is a five hundred thousand dollars or this is for you know, six hundred thousand dollars is too much money. No, just go ahead, guys, and buy it. You know, um, just go ahead and buy it, and take your time and grow. You know, if you can live in one room, you live in one room, rent out the other three or four rooms. You know, and and just grow from there. You know, that is what I did, and as I said, it's working out for me. It can work out for you too. I started from nothing, and I'm growing. I'm growing. It's not like I'm rich, but I'm I'm growing. All right, guys. So. Don't be scared of the big figures. Don't be scared of the 800,000 and 900,000 and the 700,000. Don't be scared of that. Just buy in, buy in guys. And you're gonna, um, you know, be happy. You're gonna not regret to purchase a, a property. So, as I said, um, this chapter, I'm about to close this chapter. I will keep it posted. I will keep it informed so you can see what your boy, Mr. Kong is doing. Like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'm in with Mr. Kong, see what Mr. Kong is doing, help me to grow this channel, I'm, I'm going to motivate you and you're going to see what I'm doing on the other side whenever I get to the other side in Tampa, alright? So, um, you know, um, you know, my first house, as I, I said, was in the Cayman Islands and I bought a piece of land over there way back, I think maybe in 1991, 92, for about $15,000. And I thought that $15,000 was a lot of money then. And I was only getting like about maybe $300 a week when I was in the Cayman Islands, about $300 a week. But from that $300 a week, I could able to pay my rent and also able to pay for the property, for the piece of land, pay monthly payment until I could be able to, um, you know, mobilize blocks and steels and cement and my friends will just come and help me until I build a little two bedroom house. I started like with two bedrooms first and then, you know, I was um, growing from there. But um, circumstances, I depart from the Cayman Islands um, and then that house was there and, you know, I transitioned and, you know, try to grow my life from that point onwards and this is where I'm at today I still want to grow I still have a far way to go and time is short as you all know that time is short so you know we, we still have to thrive to be the best we can you know put out all the effort don't stay into low low paying jobs try to get a job that you can um, at, at least have a comfortable life from. I started, um, when I went to New York to live, I was um, parking cars for $5 per hour. When I leave the Cayman Islands, I, I went over to New York and I was parking cars for $5 per hour. Um, you know, I would earn like about $50 per day and um, I, I, I used, I, I, I still use those monies to send me send myself to college and until I start working in the hospital and uh, you know it was a tough journey I'm gonna tell you about that that's another story I'm gonna tell you about that journey but uh, as I said 
Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself and your future will be brighter. So I'm in with Mr. Kong. Boom. Selling my house. Um, very emotional time for me. And I'm going to transition and I'm going to transition into a better, better financial position. You know, you know, one friend said, you know, you chase the money, the girls chase you. You chase the girls, the money leave you. So right now, Mr. Kong, I'll be chasing some money. Yeah, I'll be chasing some money. Yeah, the girls can chase me if they want, but I'll be chasing some money right now. I want to put myself into um, a, a, a financial position that I can take care of myself in later days if God permits me to live, you know, in my older years. So uh, focus, guys, focus. The journey may be long. It may be challenging, but let me tell you something. Whenever you challenge it and you overcome your, all your challenges, then trust me, you're gonna feel better. You're gonna feel like this is where you belong. You're gonna be in a better place. And um, I can assure you that um, um, you're gonna um, do well. For those of you watching the channel and listening to Mr. Kong, you're gonna do well. You're gonna do well if you follow, you know, just follow your, your, inner, your inner person. Yeah, just follow your inner person. Okay, I'm gonna Mr. Kong. I'm hot. Peace, guys. Bum. Catch you on my next video. Si te pido que te quedes, dime si tú te quedarías Sé que hay millones de mujeres, pero por ti te ayudaría Que se enteren en las redes que eres dueño de mi poesía Quiero pasar todas mis noches contigo, tú te quedarías Me encuentro en el sillón, pensando en lo que pasamos Me elegiste con todos mis errores, entiendes, somos humanos Gracias a un come en Facebook fue que nosotros dos conectamos Y ahora es inevitable, 